Hey mom squad, it's me Kay again. I am back with a video talking about my Pooh Bear baby shower. I didn't get to go through with my baby shower due to the pandemic, but I know a lot of people are still, you know, expecting and going to have a little thing um, for showers or virtual the virtual baby shower is also super popular right now which i think is a great idea um for me i had over 120 guest invites so yeah it was we had to cancel the whole thing we were gonna get everything catered um all the desserts all of that stuff um a lot of our decorations we wanted to try to do as much diy just because diy is supposed to save you some money but in the long run sometimes it actually costs way much way more um in this case it actually saved us a lot of money me personally i'm not a crafty person but thankfully we had um, family members that helped me put together some items we didn't finish all of what we planned to do because all this happened um, so I only have a few things that I'm going to be showing you guys but hopefully in the future if you guys plan on doing something um, or anything Pooh Bear related hopefully these are some good ideas and maybe it'll inspire you guys to get crafty and save some money <laughs> before i go forward with this video um postpartum i'm losing hair <laughs> and i know that's pretty common it's my first baby so i want to know um what helps you guys with postpartum hair loss for me i just started taking collagen and i know they say like keep taking your prenatals and everything but i ran out of my prenatals like two weeks ago and i haven't went to the store to get more but i did buy collagen and i'm starting to take collagen i only took it for one day so far so i gotta keep on that but um yeah if if you guys have any recommendations on what helps the hair loss let me know down below help your girl out <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to be sharing with you is the I don't know I don't know what the name is called specifically I guess like the dirty diaper game where you get something like a little diaper pinned to you and there's like a winner with poopy inside so we hand made this and if you guys are interested in wanting me to show you exactly how to make a product that I'm showing you let me know and I could do a video so this cute little diaper um, is made out of cardstock I just ordered these bows on Amazon and I went to my local craft store and picked up many pins and that's how I created the little diaper each guest gets one of these and for me there was gonna be two winners with a poopy diaper so yeah I thought those were really cute the next game was you know the don't say baby game well you know how it's usually like a pin well we kept it as like a pin sorry i'm like kind of tired it's like really late and off track off topic i've been like cleaning a lot and today was just really busy but we made a cute little bumblebee pin hopefully you guys can see it in the camera I don't have my glasses on um, but it's a cute little bumblebee pin we just hot glued it to the back and anyone that says baby 
someone can steal their pin. So, just like that. And then whoever has the most wins. So that is a game that we made. And because it's Pooh Bear, we made them bumblebees. So my theme was um, Pooh Bear, but with this shade green and burlap. So it was this green with burlap. And it was super cute. I just made these circles. This was to put the center piece on top. It goes in the center of the table. Um, burlap circles. And I cut this out at work. And I just, um, our center piece was going to be uh, a vase with flowers. And in the flowers was going to be, hold on. This one I really love. In the flowers was going to be a honey pot with your table number. And the reason why we made table numbers was because I had a lot of guests, which means a lot of tables and we want everyone to eat. Um, usually for taco people, taco catering, they they make a certain amount of tacos per person. So we want to make sure like everyone gets to eat before, you know, everyone gets more. But I just love the turnout of this. And then we just wrapped it around twine. This was super easy to make. I didn't do the bottom, so I can't tell you how easy, how hard that was. But I did these and I just went online and I saved an image. I edited it to put the table number and I went to my local print shop and printed the mountain color and cut everything out. So I really love the turnout. If you guys are particular um, on the backing, you guys could definitely do like double backing, but in my case, I didn't really care. <laughs> so the next thing, hold on. The next thing I want to show you guys was, um, this was also super easy. I just went to my local craft store and bought cardstock and I printed a whole bunch. This was going on all of the, all of the, um, guests seating. So yeah, we had a lot of guests coming and it's just a blessings for a baby. You could put anything you want up here, but this is what we did for ours. And then also with cardstock, we put the diaper raffle um, with a little bumblebee right there. And then it says, please bring a pack of diapers any size for a chance to win a prize. And this diaper raffle prize was going to be legit. Like it was going to be a really good prize. <laughs> and we might, I, okay, so I'm, a fan of gift baskets. I love making gift baskets. I love putting, you know, just everything together about the person or um, let's say I give it for a birthday or a Christmas present or a present in general. I love packing the gift basket with special things that the person loves. And, um, but in this case for the prize, I was going to make a movie basket and it was going to be, um, super big and have a whole bunch of snacks in there, drinks, sodas, um, chips, popcorn, gift cards, a fire stick. And it was just going to be pretty, it, I don't know. I was excited to make that basket, but I love making baskets in general. 
which makes me super excited for like Easter and um, so I seen something the other day on Facebook and it was like something about like the tooth fairy um, I guess there was like a crochet tooth that you could stick the money in there for when your child loses a tooth and for me I was thinking like I wonder what the tooth fairy brings each child in different households to me I would think like maybe one to five dollars is my range maybe a gold dollar or a two dollar bill um, but I know people that give like twenty dollars and a hundred dollars but to me I think that's too much in my opinion but uh, like one to five dollars is a good range but also I was thinking um, of doing like a little tooth care pack like gift basket like a small one because I know kids lose a lot of teeth but maybe each time a little care package like you know kids need to up on their um, uh, like mouthwash a cool new toothbrush um, stuff like that like I went on Pinterest I've seen all kinds of cute things so Pinterest always has great ideas and then for this one I didn't really care to do the cardstock I just printed it directly on copy paper um, because we were gonna do a game and it's basically like count how many honeycombs are in this jar I was gonna get a, a see-through honey pot and put the cereal honeycombs in there and count them and then it says honeycombs guess how many honeycombs are in the jar name count and then if there are multiple correct winners because we have a lot of guests final winner will be chosen at random so yeah and the last thing i'm going to share with you guys is party favors now it's really popular for the honey jars with the um i think it's like a honeycomb stick but that was a little bit over budget for the amount of guests that we had we were going to expect so this is a little cheaper affordable route you can take on amazon they sell honey sticks and you could get like one or two hundred in a pack for like twenty eight dollars twenty five dollars and we just got a couple of those packs and wrapped twine around two sticks and then i ordered these little uh they were plain round they were blank but uh they were plain <laughs> And then I just wrote thank you with the beauty shower date on each of them, which came out to be way more affordable. So, yeah, that's an idea. And then my sister bought, let me show you one last thing. One second. Okay, so my sister bought these little, ooh. I literally just gave myself a splinter. My sister bought these signs. You gotta be super careful with these because. Tigger. Who? And then we have Piglet. Okay, guys, I had to put my glasses on because I wasn't able to see anything. But um, 
that completes today's video those are all the items that we did and honestly it was a fun girls day that we did to create those items so yeah um hopefully this gives you guys ideas for if you're expecting or if you're doing a Pooh Bear theme party but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed good night